During the winter in Finland, there simply isn't enough natural light to grow without supplementary lighting. Martin Sig specializes in growing tomatoes in the Nerpes region. He has been pioneering the use of grow lights since 2000, starting with high pressure sodium lights. In 2013, he added LED interlighting to the HPS installation in his widespan greenhouse. Convinced by the results achieved under the Philips lighting, Martin decided to equip all his greenhouses with a double line of LED interlighting. Oh, the top lighting armature is not a bit in end. December and January is the, is the dar darkest period. The sun is, can be up some, someday, but it's very low, and we yeah. have to have more light installed in, the, in our greenhouse that they can, can produce year round. We have about 9,300 square meters today. All is lit with interlighting LEDs, and 1,500 square meters now is with 100% LEDs. The Philips solution for six business consisted of lighting advice, business calculations, LED interlighting and top lighting modules, expert plant advice, and follow up. Uh, so far we are happy with it. It has worked as it's supposed to do. It's it not so a big, big difference between HPS and LEDs in that way that light is light. So it, and it's the light that we are looking for. So We don't necessarily have to have the heat that we are getting from the HPS. But now with LEDs we can have light when we need the light and heat when we need the heat. If you have more, more heat, you put on more heat, and if you put on more light, you put on light, and you don't get the both of them. It's going according to expectations, but uh, of course we always want to improve. Uh, the next step is to install it in the next greenhouse.